What's the deal, baby? You already know it is the big boss out, boss dog. Can't poke through the door with the top of this box, man. You're on his way to the gym. Hope everybody having a good day. You know, grind or stop. You're just gonna keep putting in this work. Um, straight to the point. You know, I'm kind of tired, so I'm not really in a joking mood. I ain't got no energy. That's why I'm sipping this C4. You know what I'm saying? To get me through that gym dose. Excuse me. Keyshawn Davis said he wants smoke with Frank Martin. Let's talk about it. So, Keyshawn Davis, those of you who don't know who he is, fights at 135 pounds. I think he's seven or eight, no, with like seven knockouts, something like that. He got one fight where he didn't knock the dude out. Um, he trains. With Terrence Crawford and Shakur Stevenson. Uh, he's trained by Bo Mack. That's his trainer. Um, he says some, a lot of outlandish things about Devin Haney and Frank Martin and, you know, Errol Spence. And, and, you know, he just, he likes to talk a lot, bro. That's just what it is. He'll talk, right? Um, so, he tweets out that uh, he wants to fight Frank Martin on an L Spence versus that boy undercard. Now, granted, y'all go check out D-Town Boxing video. He basically made a video talking about, you know, Bo Mack, talking about there could potentially be a that boy versus L Spence fight this summer. Like I said, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't believe <laughs> that they gonna fight. That's what it is, you know. Um, I don't think that boy want to fight else, man. So I'm still, so it's really not nothing for me to really talk about. But y'all want great content? Go to D Time Boxer channel. He uh, he posts great content, man, for real. Um, but so Keyshawn Davis basically tweets that, you know, and El Spence responds with, you know, this is not verbatim, but he basically said, you know, I would like. Frank Martin versus Shakur better. I think that's a better fight. In which Shakur agreed. And Keyshawn Davis responded with, you know, hold on, bro. You know, please let me F this N-word up. You know, let me get him. And then Shakur responds with, I mean, you can have him. He said, I'm just letting you know I'm just letting Errol know that I ain't running from no smoke. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I, look, I like the energy, right? I like the energy from everybody. You know what I mean? Um, that that's that's boxing. You know they believe in their skills. But I want to start with Shakur Stevenson because it's really gonna be out the way. I feel like Shakur Stevenson versus Frank Martin is a great fight. It's a better fight. You know what I mean? Um, for where they are in their careers, I think it'll it'll be a chess match. You know, I would have to go with Shakur in that fight though. Shakur is 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 very very smart in that ring. You know what I mean? And that's just that's just what it is. In that ring, he's a he's a, he's a he's a brainiac. His IQ is off the chain. He knows the right amount of distance he needs to be. You know what I'm saying? And he fights different ways. Each fight, he fights differently. You know what I mean? I could see him... Nah, it's not gonna be easy. You know, I, Shakur not gonna get in there and just beat the brakes out Frank Martin. But I think at the end of the day, Shakur would get his hand raised. I would say a majority decision, something like that, or maybe a split. Um... But like, I just think Shakur just got a little bit more in his arsenal. You feel me? Than Frank does. And there's no disrespect to Frank Martin. Like, I think Frank Martin is a, is a, is a heck of a fighter, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just think Shakur, he just different, bro. Like, he's a, he's, he's a special guy. He one of them dudes that's special. You know, Frank Martin, he great. You know what I mean? He's an epitome of a guy. He's special too in his own way. He's that guy that 
that worked hard. And I'm not saying Shakur didn't work hard, but Shakur came into the to the boxing to the pro game with hype. He came in there with hype, and he had eyes on him early. Frank didn't. Frank literally is earning his respect in this boxing game. And I can relate to Frank more because that's how it was for me in amateur boxing. You know what I mean? Like, I had to earn my respect. When I came into the game, they was like, you know? So that's why, like, I can relate to Frank Martin, his work ethic, things like that. Because he's constantly having a mindset that I got to prove these people wrong. You see what I'm saying? But I just think it's just some dudes, they just naturally just better. And I just think Shakur is going to have enough. It's not going to be easy. It's, it'll be a tough fight. But I would think Shakur will end that one out. Now, Keyshawn Davis. Right now, I think Frank Martin, if they fought right now, Frank Martin would stop Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis, man, he, he relies on his power too much. He's not patient. You know what I mean? Now, he has potential. He has a lot of potential. You know what I mean? But he might want to be quiet because Errol Spence is the type of dude that will put you in there. He, he don't believe in that whole, whole build the fighter up. No. You keep knocking on that door, Keyshawn Davis, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get in there with Frank, and Frank going to stop you, and your career going to get over, be, be over with. That's what I'm saying. You see Frank, he ain't doing no talking. I like that. There's nothing to talk about. What are we talking for? Frank Martin, I mean, yeah, Frank Martin responds with videos of him working out. So while Keyshawn Davis on Twitter talking, Frank Martin on the treadmill. Frank Martin shadow boxing. Frank Martin on the mitts. He's always in the gym. He ain't doing no talking. None. Zilch. Zip. He ain't saying nothing. Keyshawn Davis talking up a storm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And he got, give me, let me F him up. You not finna F nothing up. I'm telling you right now, that boy, Keyshawn, I'm, I'm, I, keep playing. Errol going gonna, gonna to make that contract and send it to you. And then what you going to do? We're going to see if you really bought that life when a contract in your face. It's easy to talk in the media, and it's easy to talk uh, you know, on the internet. But when that contract gets sent your way, here you go. Kind of like what he did to your boy. He sent that boy a contract, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, money's a problem. But I thought you said, <laughs> we ain't gonna get into that. So all I'm saying is at the end of the day, Keyshawn Davis will get stopped by Frank Martin if they fought. You know what I mean? If they fought now, if they fought later, Keyshawn Davis getting stopped. Shakur, that's a different story. You know what I mean? Like I say, I would look at that 60-40. You know, Shakur versus Frank Martin. That's a big fight. But Frank Martin versus Keyshawn Davis, man, Frank going to stop that boy. I'm telling you right now. Because Keyshawn Davis ain't fought a fighter that's battle-tested yet. He ain't fought nobody like that. And I'm telling you, Frank gonna grind that boy to the ground. I'm telling you, he gonna break him down. He gonna break Keyshawn Davis down. That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna break him down. So what I advise Keyshawn Davis to do, hey man, be quiet, go in the gym and keep working and keep building yourself up. Cause if you, I'm telling you, you're going to send that contract to you and then you ain't got no choice but to sign it. Because if you don't sign it, then it's going to get out that you duck Frank Martin. So now you're going to have that duck on your name like somebody else you roll with. That's not that's not that's not logical. You see what I'm saying? Now like I say, Shakur Stevenson that's a different, that's a different animal. That's a different type of fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I would still, I would favor Shakur over Frank Martin. Not gonna lie to you. I don't think it'll be an easy win for Shakur though. I think 
Shakur gonna have to really bite down and really like, you know what I'm saying? Because Frank Martin gonna be in shape. Frank Martin got Derrick James. Forget that, right? He got Derrick James. We're gonna come up with an excellent game plan. Who's a mastermind, bro? Like, y'all understand how, how, and how, <laughs> that's like Jordan with, uh, with Phil Jackson. Kobe with Phil Jackson. You see what I'm saying? Like, these dudes, L. Spence and Jamel Charlo and Frank Martin, they, they got a mastermind, bro. Now, granted, the fighters still got to go in there and fight, right? They still got to go in that ring and handle business, you know? But his game plans be beautiful. Like, I, I be seeing, I be like, you know, the first one I be seeing, I be like, oh, man. Like, when L fight people. You know, everything is off the jam. But the way Derek James got them, like, their jab is not predictable. You see what I'm saying? Like, the way he got them, how he, how he, <laughs> how he has their rhythm is for not, like, their jab is not predictable. You know how some dudes, you be like, oh, he finna throw a jab, right? You can see when they finna throw the jab. They jab is, they can jab going backwards, frontwards, sideways. They can jab, jab you to death. Everything off the jab, right? High guard, okay? And normally, some coaches, they teach their fighters, excuse me, they teach, they teach their fighters to bend at the waist and, you know, roll and all that. That James... Yeah, you're going to roll in certain sectors in certain situations, but he teaches them to use their feet. So they literally use their feet. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's a video with Derek, Derek James, this from a long time ago, where he was kind of doing like a little tutorial on what he teaches fighters. And it's like, that's why his fighters are so, like, Although they're offensively aggressive, they're defensively responsible. It's beautiful, bro. Like, it's, it's, that's why you rarely see L. Spence getting hit. And, and, you know, even Frank Martin. Like, they just be defensively responsible. They, they ain't really taking too many flush shots. It's boxing. You're going to get hit. But they're not taking too many shots where they getting hit with bombs. You know what I'm saying? Like, over and over again. You see what I'm saying? Frank Martin against Keyshawn Davis, Keyshawn Davis' career will be over. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss Gone.